How we doing? How we doing, people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. I'm having a blessed day myself. We in the gym today. Not starting in the car or the house. We starting in the gym. But I hope you guys enjoy that little cinematic. I told you guys I was going to start trying to do that more, incorporate it more a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, try to work my magic a little bit. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. But, yeah, man. Um... And shout out to you guys, bro. We are really like already about to hit 400 subs. I don't know how, but hey, man, all glory to God. So appreciate you guys for that. It's crazy. I don't know how y'all did it, but I don't know, man. It's just a trip. So all glory to God. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, go like the video and like and subscribe. And yeah, man, it's just, you know, I'm so grateful because now I can just keep spreading the light of Jesus and what Jesus did for us on the cross. Excuse my voice crack. I don't care. Spread the light, the truth. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. You know, man, I'm about to drink my pre-workout because I keep voice cracking. So let me take a little sip. Yeah, I also haven't even, like, drank it, to be honest. But, but yeah, man. Um, I say let's get into a verse and praise God because all glory is to God. So let's get into that. And we are doing shoulders today. Shoulders, arms. So, gonna be a fire pump. I wrote it out. So I have a plan this time. I usually have a plan, but like now I like for sure have a plan because I wrote it down. So don't clown me. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So today's verse is Ephesians three verse twenty, and it says, "Now all glory to God who is able through His mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think." So essentially, like what is it saying? Like what I was talking to, right? when we are in like a season of like struggle right or a season of lack when you get out of that season or even when you're in that season make sure to glorify god because you'll know where it will be coming from right because if you glorify god right when you're in that season you have faith in jesus and when he blesses you and gets you out of that season you already know who the glory should be should be going to so when you're in like whenever you feel like you know God may not be answering your prayers just keep giving him his glory and he will bless you and when you when he blesses you don't give your glory to the world give it to God because when you give it to the world that's when the devil can try to like put in like you know what's what's the word he can get get into your head and say like oh like God has already blessed you so much like why why are you giving it to God you should give it to the world when you should give it to God who else what bro there's no other point of us being being here other than to, other than to serve God so just make sure to always when you get blessed or when you're in a season of lack just understand that God will provide and just put your faith in Jesus Christ keep your faith in Jesus Christ and you'll be good and just give God the glory when he gets you out of your season and when he blesses you that's the only way so because jesus christ the way the truth and the light bro so i mean just me personally bro you know like i said like i'm super grateful that god is even like allowing me to do this for you guys and do this for him and just you know this is his will for me i guess this is god's plan you know i have a lot of people tell me like oh you should work your job your degree whatever and i'm like that's cool but like i feel like this is my plan like this is my purpose for what god wants me to do so and just spread the light and you know bro like honestly like this is how the devil works when you're doing something right and when you're doing it from like god's will the devil will try to like get people to this is how you know you're ready for a breakthrough too when the devil like sends people saying like oh you suck like why are you doing that that's stupid you know what i mean so just like never listen to those people bro just make sure to stay in your word and listen to god because that's the only person you need to listen to straight up and if you have a significant other, they listen to your wife so i need to listen to my wife and obviously when she tells me things i should be doing i should probably listen to her but you know, man, like, at the end of the day, like, only person that really matters in your life, only person that really going to face judgment is God. So, other than that, there's nothing else to worry about. So, and the moral of the story is just give the glory to God every time in a season of lack because God will not keep you in a season of lack. He sometimes keeps you in a season of lack so that he can get rid of the impurities that are in your life, such as, like, oh, you know, you had to cut off, he cut off some friends for you that were, you know, keeping you away from your, his path, the narrow path, or he cut off a relationship that you needed to get out. Don't ever look at it as, like, a bad thing. Look at it as a good thing when you're in the season of lack because that means you're serving Christ, right? And he's testing you and seeing, like, how much faith 
can you keep in me till I bless you? And then will you still give the glory to me? Because when we reject God, when we step away from God, that's when destruction happens. So, yeah, man. Just make sure to always give God the glory. And the devil has no power. I always be saying that. He got no power, bro. So just keep trusting in God, trust in Jesus, and you'll be good. But let me know what you guys think in the comments like i said we are doing shoulders and arms i actually i did chest yesterday so it might be bad that i'm doing shoulders because when you do chest you kind of work more your front delt but i don't care bro like you know like it's like people say like you shouldn't do that people i don't know bro honestly it's whatever you know i mean i didn't feel like being i didn't feel like doing back because i already did a back video for you guys so we're doing shoulders we switching the split up who cares whatever but yeah, so we're gonna start with. I'm just gonna spam lateral raises. That's honestly the main thing I'm doing today. Is I'm literally just gonna spam lateral raises, um, and like some other movements. But lateral raises is just a muscle shoulder day. Any bodybuilder knows that. So that's what we're gonna get into. We starting with standing dumbbell lateral raises. Um, but yeah, get into that and let's get it. It's gonna be a fire pump. Let's get it. Supersetting the dumbbell lateral raises with alternating dumbbell curls. So I forgot to mention that too. So we're gonna go like today's workout is gonna be like shoulders, arms, shoulders, arms. But like sometimes it might just be shoulders, sometimes it might just be arms. It's gonna be all around, all over the place. But we're like move, we're like working it. In. I'm not just doing shoulders first and then doing arms last. So but we're working it in. So, dude, y'all already know like this gym, bro. It's five and it's packed, packed already, bro. So. Cut me some slack. I'm gonna do the best shots I can get. But yeah, so we're gonna superset that with what I said. Alternate double curls. We're on to the shoulder press machine. Bro, this gym, honestly, it's not too bad upstairs. It's more downstairs that it's crowded, but yeah, I've already complained about it. It doesn't matter. But we're gonna do a three sets, 10 to 12 here. So I'm starting with two plates. Um, yeah, I'm probably, just cause I wanna maximize all my, um, it's the amount of strength I can put in two for these three sets. So I'm gonna start with two plates and then I might go with 25 for the last two sets. We'll see what happens, but we're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 and we'll go from there. Then we got, yeah, we got front cable raises after this. So let's get into it. Now we're on these front cable raises. Um, here we're gonna do three sets of 12 to 15 here, and then we're gonna superset it with cable curls and the same thing. So it's just gonna focus on keeping it close to the body, and then just curl it up, and then just slow down on the negative. And then for the front raises, we're gonna just gonna come down slow on the negative, like maybe like three seconds, just to keep the tension on that front delt. And then from there, we got rear delts, and that'll conclude the shoulder workout. But I don't care what anybody says, bro. You have to include some sort of like cable 
lateral raise, front raise, whatever, when you're doing shoulders. You can just like, I don't know why, but like you can just go slow, you can just control it so much more and just keep more tension on it versus like dumbbells or machine or anything because you just want to rush through it. You can still control it on the machines and the dumbbells, but like it's still like the gravity wants to force it down versus cables. It's just a band and you can control it more instead of just like letting your arms drop. But that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments what you guys prefer. I prefer that. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into this. Finish this workout. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Let's Alright y'all, that is the end of the video. My camera's about to die, so let's get into some posing, see how we're looking. I would include a more real delts, but like I said, my camera's about to die, but let's get into this posing, let's see how we're looking. But yeah, I still don't know how to pose for shoulders. But let me know how we're looking in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, again, have a blessed one. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Have a blessed one.